chào mừng tất cả các bạn đến với kênh dạy tiếng Việt tiếng miền Nam cho người nước ngoài. In previous lesson, we have learned how to book a room in Vietnamese. Um, in today's lesson, I will teach you how to make a request in Vietnamese. As usual, let's watch a video clip first. Ê, cho tờ mượn tờ giấy. Cảm ơn Ê, cho tờ mượn túi sách đi Ê, cho tờ mượn cái gì Ê, cho tao miếng nước Ừ, cho tao một cục cơm nữa Nè, mày mua được cái gì mày bận hết luôn đi Nè, nè, nè Before I start to clarify the lesson I want to point out the two points first. Firstly, as you see that in the clip, the boy with the eyeglasses, he addressed himself, Tao, and he calls his friend, Mai. So in this uh, case, Tao means I, and Mai means you in English. So there are many ways to addressing a people to address a people, but uh, I'm not gonna talk about that and uh, because we focus just on the making the request in this lesson. So just to remind you, Tao is me, I, and my is you. Okay, this kind of uh, addressing is very informal. And this is usually used for uh, those who are friends and those who know each other very well and also like at the same age. Okay, and the second thing I want to emphasize is that the word A. So A is like hey in English. And this again also used in just formal situation. We use A to, I'm sorry, we use A to get some attention. Um, especially for those who are close friends and who know that who know each other well and at the same age okay remember it has to be at the same age if you address your mom or your dad by a you're gonna be in a big trouble now let's watch the video clip one more time hey, Cảm ơn Ê, cho tờ mượn túi sách đi Ê, cho tờ mượn cái gì Cho tao miếng nước Nè Ừ Cho tao một cục cơm nữa Nè Mày mua được cái gì mày bận hết luôn đi Nè 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 Here's some vocabulary that you need to know to understand the conversation. Mượn Borrow Tờ giấy A piece of paper Quyển sách Or cuốn sách A book Cây viết A pen Nước Water Miếng nước Some water Cục gom 
an eraser. If you want to learn more about the vocabulary in the classroom, you can click on me and there was a, there's a window we popped up. So now let's see what expression we can use to make a request. In this video, we can see that the boy with the class, he used this structure a lot. Hey, cho tao mượn tờ giấy. Hey, cho tao mượn túi sách đi. Cho tao mượn cục gom nữa. So, cho plus someone plus mượn plus something. That means to lend someone borrow something or can someone uh, lend you something, something like that. For example, cho tao mượn cây viết. Uh, can I borrow a pen? Cho tao mượn tờ giấy. Can I borrow a piece of paper? So remember, there's the word mượn. So if you use without the word mượn, for example, uh, instead of saying cho tao mượn tờ giấy, but you say cho tao tờ giấy, in this case, it's totally different. Okay, so cho tao mượn tờ giấy, that means you borrow someone, uh, uh, that person gonna give you a piece of paper and you will return them because you just borrow them. But if you say cho tao tờ giấy, that means you ask them for a piece of paper and you're not gonna return another piece of paper to them because they give it for you, like give it to you, okay? So the difference between cho mượn and cho is that cho mượn is uh, to give someone something, to lend someone something and they will not return, uh, they will return you back later. But uh, cho is just give it away and not hoping for uh, a return, okay? So uh, when you ask your friend, cho tao mượn 10 ngàn, that means you want to borrow your friend's 10,000 Vietnam dong. But if you just ask like it, cho tao 10 ngàn dong, that means you ask that person 10,000 uh, Vietnam dong. Yeah, that's the way it is, but sometimes people you know ask to borrow something but they never give back especially for the money so in some case the two structure the same okay so that's the way to make a uh, request um informal so how to make a request more polite so here are three ways that we can use to make your request more polite and more formal first use làm ơn plus a verb. Okay, instead of saying cho tao mượn tờ giấy, we can say it in a more polite way like this. Làm ơn cho tôi mượn tờ giấy. Okay, so I changed the word tao into tôi because to make it more polite. In this sentence, it means please lend me a piece of paper. Làm ơn cho tôi mượn tờ giấy. Làm ơn đóng cửa. Please close the door. Làm ơn đánh thức tôi lúc 2 giờ. Please wake me up at 2 o'clock. Okay, the second way to use to make your request more polite is to add the word đi or nha or nhe at the end of your statement of your request. In the clip, the boy says, Cho tao mượn tờ giấy. That sounds a little bossy and impolite, especially for those who do not know each other well. Okay, so in their case, it's okay. But when you know some person like not so well, that is considered impolite and rude and bossy. So to make it uh, more friendlier and uh, more polite, you can use like this. Cho tao mượn tờ giấy đi. Okay. Actually, this can use in informal situation. Cho tao mượn cây viết nha. Cho tao mượn cây viết nha. Cho tao mượn tờ giấy đi. Can I borrow you a piece of paper? Cho tao mượn 
cục gom nha cho tao mượn cục gom nha can i borrow you an eraser đi nha and nhé is kind of cute when uh, it's in a couple situation for example if you talk to your girlfriend and you want to ask her something but she she just do, doesn't want to do that you can add the word nha or đi or nhé at the end of the sentence it's like you say please in a cute way uh, okay that's very good okay for example if you want to kiss her you're gonna say like this cho an home em nha it's like please can i kiss you something like yeah if you add the words nha it sounds really cute and you know that's gonna impress your girlfriend okay so add the word at the end it's make it cuter so if you are a girl you can ask them like an cho em home nha it's like a girl talk to a boy Okay, can I kiss you? Something like that. After this, if you can kiss your partner, don't forget to come back and thanks me, okay? And the third way to uh, make it more polite is you can use có thể, không. It's like could you blah 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 expression when you want to make the request some uh, a request uh, more polite. Um, for example, bạn có thể cho tôi mượn tờ giấy không? Could you lend me a piece of paper? Anh có thể hoàn thành bản báo cáo vào thứ bảy này được không? Could you finish this report by Saturday? Okay, so that's uh, some ways to make a request, just impolite. I'm sorry, informal and formal. And uh, let's learn how to reply to this uh, request. Okay, there are two situations. If you want to uh, accept and say yes to that request, you're going to say like this. First, yeah. And this is only used for us uh, to someone who is older than you. Who is older than you. Uh, it's like show respect to older people. Yeah. Okay, so to learn more about this word, you can... Click on me and it will pop our lesson about yeah. The second way to answer yes is uh, được or ừ. Okay, so this is in this case is for uh, people who are in the same age and uh, younger than you. It's okay. So there's many ways. Just choose one. For example, ừ, được, được chứ. Something like that, okay? But if you want to refuse, you can politely say it like this. Xin lỗi, tôi không giúp được. Sorry, I can't help. Or, xin lỗi, tôi đang bận. It means, sorry, I'm busy. But if you want to say it uh, like a friend, you say, no, like, không. <laughs> like, không. Okay? And don't use that to your boss or your mom or your dad. You're going to be in big trouble. And don't forget to say cảm ơn after someone accept to do you a favor, okay? Ê, cho tôi mượn tờ giấy. Nè. Cảm ơn. Ê, cho tôi mượn túi sách đi. Ê, cho tao mượn cái gì? Nè Ê, cho tao miếng nước Nè ừ, Cho tao mượn cục gom nữa Nè, mày mua được cái gì mày mượn hết luôn đi Nè
yeah, so that's all for today. Hope you enjoy the lesson. Okay, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. We will answer your question as soon as possible. Finally, tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại. Hả? Anh có biết ngày mai là ngày mấy không? Thì hôm nay là ngày 12 tháng 7. Đúng rồi. Ngày mai là ngày... Cho tôi phòng nào mà có view đẹp và đáng mạng. Anh chọn phòng đôi, phòng đơn hay phòng hai giường. Cho tôi phòng đôi, uh, giá bao nhiêu vậy?